Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'll be showing you just 7 algorithms which you need to remember while solving the puzzle using the CFOP method. So these algorithms will be used in the third step of the CFOP method which will be the OLL step. A small disclaimer, this video is not for those people who do not solve the puzzle using the CFOP method and also for those people who have just started with the CFOP and are in the C and F stage which is the cross and the F2L. So by now you should have finished your cross and the F2L. Now the 7 algorithms apply to only after you make the cross. So if you're a person who doesn't like remembering lots of algorithms and want to go with the easy ones, this is the right video for you because in this I'll be showing just the cross algorithms which are 7 algorithms. So when you're doing OLL you just need to form the cross and after that you'll have only 7 cases. So for 7 cases we have 7 algorithms and trust me none of them is difficult. So let's get started with the cases. This is the first case in which we have the cross and there are 2 headlights in the front and 2 headlights at the back. And the algorithm goes like this F R U R I U I R U R I U I R U R I U I and F I. Now, if you're wondering why I'm saying I in front of the letters, it stands for inverted and it's much easier to understand. You can also use prime, it's up to you. So, that's the first case. Simple, right? Now, this is the second case in which you have two headlights and one yellow is on the side and the other yellow is on the opposite side. So what you do is you keep the headlights on the left and then you perform this algorithm. R U2 R2 UI R2 UI R2 U2 R And there you go, you have oriented the last layer. Let's jump to the next one. Now this is the third case and it's commonly called the fish case. Now there are two subdivisions under this fish case. One is that you will have this fish shape and the yellow will be facing on the left side where it is not on the right and it is adjacent to the formed edge. The second case will look like this when you don't have the yellow over here but you have it on the right side. So this is the second case. So now we'll be going with the first case in which we have the yellow on the left side. So the algorithm for the fish eye case in which the yellow is on the left side is L I U I L U I L I U 2 L that's it. So that's how you orient the last layer in the first fish eye case. Here's the second fish eye case. Now these two algorithms are pretty simple. Just how it worked for the left side, it will work for the right side. So in the left we use L and U, on the right we'll just use R and U. So the algorithm for the fisheye and the yellow on the right side is R U R I U R U2 R I. And that's how you orient the last layer in the second fisheye case. Now the fifth case is what I call the spear case. Now in this case you have just two of the yellow pieces which are to be oriented and they are on the opposite sides. So what you want to do is keep one unoriented piece at the back on the left side and one on the right and the one on the right must have the yellow facing you but not like this in which the yellow is facing the right and you perform this algorithm which goes like front inverted, left, front, right inverted, front inverted left inverted front and right so that's it it was pretty simple let's do it again so first you keep the piece with the yellow facing you and you perform this algorithm front inverted left front right inverted front inverted left inverted front right you go through this algorithm two three times and you'll get it I hope you understood till now, let's jump to the next one. Now this case is what I call the tank case. The tank case can have two subdivisions. So in one tank case, you will get the yellow pieces on the opposite sides. So in this case, this is the algorithm which applies. And it goes like F, R, F inverted, left, F, R, A, front inverted and left inverted that was simple let's try it again 
So you keep the tank facing left. One yellow piece must be facing you, one must be at the back. Oh, that's obvious. And the algorithm goes like this. So front, right, front inverted, left, front, right inverted, front inverted, left inverted. So that is the first tank case. So now in our second tank case, we will be having the tank facing towards you and the tank will be having headlights. So this time there are no yellow color in the front and the back, they're, they're not in the opposite directions, but they are in fact together. So the algorithm goes like R2, D, Ri, U2, R, D, I, Ri, U2, Ri. Let's try it again. So again, you keep the tank facing you in which the headlights are facing you and you perform this algorithm. It goes like R2, D, R inverted, U2, R, D inverted, D stands for down, R, I, which is R inverted, U2, R inverted. And there you go, you have found the OLL in the second tank case. Let's have a quick recap. In the beginning, there were two cross cases. The first case was one with the headlights and the other case was one with the yellow on the opposite sides, but not on the back. So for the one in which you have the headlights in the front and the yellows on the back, you perform this algorithm. It's R U2, R2 UI, R2 UI, R2 U2 and R. And for the one in which we have the two headlights at the back and the front, we perform this algorithm F R U R I U I R U R I U I R U R I U I and front inverted. The next two cases were the fish cases. In the first one, in which we had the yellow on the left side but not on the right, and the other one, we had the fish case in which the yellow was on the right. So first, the algorithm for the fish with the yellow on the right was R U R I U R U U R I. And for the other case with the yellow on the left, the algorithm goes like. L I U I L U I L I U 2 L So the second two cases were the fish case in which we had one yellow on the left and one was on the right So the next case was the only single case in which we had somewhat like a spear like this in which we had only two pieces to be oriented properly So in this case we'll keep the one unoriented piece on, on the back on the left side and one will be facing you in which the yellow is facing you and you'll perform this algorithm F inverted left, F, right inverted, F inverted, left inverted, F, right. And you will orient the last layer. So if I'm not wrong, this will be the fifth case. And now we'll be going with the sixth and the seventh case. Now the last two cases are the tank cases in which one tank case, you'll be having the tank like this and there'll be headlights in the front. And the other tank case will be the tank like this, but the yellow will be one in the front, one in the back. So for the tank case in which the tank has no headlights and the yellow is on the front and the back, you'll keep the tank facing left like this and you'll perform this algorithm. Front, right, front inverted, left, front, right inverted, front inverted, left inverted. That was simple. And for the other tank case, in which you'll have the tank facing left, but the headlights will be there. Which means that the yellow will be together, they'll be facing you. And the tank also will be facing you, we'll perform this algorithm. R2, D, R, I, U2, R, D, I, R, I, U2, R, I. And that's how you'll orient the last layer. And that will be it for the algorithms. So I hope you understood till now and I hope what I was trying to make you understand was easy for you. So this video basically tells you that you needn't remember all the 57 algorithms for orienting the last layer. It's just the 7 important algorithms which are required to be remembered by every single cuber who is solving the puzzle using the CFOP method. But if you're thinking about reducing your solve time, I guess you'll have to learn all the 57 algorithms which will be best for you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and comment down below what you want me to upload next. So stay tuned for my next videos but until then keep solving and thanks for watching